Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all keeping well. This is another edition of Tottenham News where I'll be going through all of the latest Spurs news, rumours and reports. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit that subscribe button, like and share. And if you're listening to this on an audio platform, please do hit that follow button and leave a review if you can. Now, in Antonio Conte's embargoed press conference, he said the following about the January transfer window. I don't know what the club will do in January, but life will always be more difficult in England in the future as many clubs will spend big money. It's better to be honest, to tell the truth to the fans. Always. Now, of course, Tottenham Hotspur face Liverpool at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium on Sunday, 4.30pm kickoff. Antonio Conte had his press conference on Friday afternoon. He provided the team news. Uh, he has confirmed that Richarlison, Christian Romero and Hunmin Son will miss Sunday's clash against Liverpool. And he will make late decisions on the fitness of Dian Kulusevski and Lucas Moura. Richarlison has been out of action since picking up a calf problem against Everton on the 15th of October. Christian Romero missed the Newcastle game on the 23rd of October with fatigue. He returned against Sporting in the Champions League three days later, but then missed our last two games. Hunmin Son underwent surgery on Friday to stabilise a fracture around his left eye sustained in our midweek win at Marseille. Lucas Moura has been suffering with a tendon issue but has featured in our last seven matches. Dian Kulusevski, meanwhile, has been out since picking up a muscle problem on international duty at the end of September. Antonio Conte said on Friday, uh, Dian Kulusevski had half a training session with us today. Tomorrow, we will see. Conte then went on to say, for sure, I want to speak to the player to ask if he is feeling positive. I don't want to force him. That's not right. But it would be very important if he gives me the availability to come on uh, from the bench and then the possibility to play for 10, 20, 30 minutes. If you're on the bench, you are ready to help us in the game. Conte then went on to talk about Lucas Moura and said he is up and down with his tendon. He still has pain. On Friday, he told me this and I asked him to wait and try to suffer in these last three games. And then we will uh, try to find out the best solution. For sure, we are talking about a player that is not 100%. If you add all of these difficulties, then you understand how we are fighting with big effort to overcome this period. In Conte's press conference, he said, I can confirm Richarlison is not available for the game. It is the same for Romero, but Benton Kurt is much better. And today he was part of the training session. It was the same for Dian Kulusevski. Today he had half a training session with us. Conte then added, the problem is Lucas Moura is having some difficult phases for his pain in his tendon. On Friday, he was really bad. And then he said to me, he was really worried for this. But I asked of him to try and be available because we need him. Also, Hunmin Son, you know, is having surgery. At the end, we have to be happy for qualification for the Champions League. And we now have to try and finish these last three games in the best possible way. Now, a lovely touch from Tottenham Hotspur centre-back and England international Eric Dyer. On Instagram on Friday, he posted a picture of his England shirt that he wore against Italy on the 23rd of September. He signed it and said to the Ventroni family, Gian Piero, help me to wear this shirt again. I will carry his values every day with me. Best wishes, Eric. Ten Premier League games will take place this weekend, five on Saturday and five on Sunday. The five games on Saturday are as follows. Uh, Leeds will take on Bournemouth, Manchester City against Fulham, Nottingham Forest against Brentford. Uh, Wolves will take on Brighton and Everton will take on Leicester. And then on Sunday, Chelsea against Arsenal, Aston Villa against Manchester United, Southampton will host Newcastle United, West Ham against Crystal Palace and of course our game, Tottenham against Liverpool. 4.30pm kickoff. In Antonio Conte's press conference ahead of the Liverpool game on Sunday, he criticised the governing body, saying the game must go on. This is what he had to say. But for sure, many teams uh, are having uh, big injuries, uh, and uh, this is because uh, we are playing every three days. And uh, I think um, 
that we are we are we are seeing that this situation is impossible is impossible uh, for the future and uh, it will be important for the future to understand uh, because uh, many times uh, i uh, i hear uh, about the the welfare of the players uh, yeah but uh, it's only a, po a polite way uh, to to show that uh, you are really interested uh, in the welfare of the player because then uh, and uh, they are not really worried about the welfare of the players uh, if the schedule is this and uh, uh, in every moment uh, you show that the most important thing is uh, the show must go on and then uh, please uh, in the future i don't want to listen to hear uh, uh, to speak uh, about the, the welfare of the player be because this is not true Now, my thoughts on these stories in this episode, let's start by talking about Eric Dyer. What a very, very touching thing to do. Uh, send his match-worn England shirt over to Italy to the Ventroni family. Of course, uh, John Pierre Ventroni meant the world to Antonio Conte and all of these players. Um, had such an impact. Um, he wasn't at the club very long, but had such an impact on everybody connected to uh, this current squad and this current coaching team. Uh, but what a lovely thing to do from Eric Dyer. Uh, fantastic that um, Dian Kulusevski could get some minutes against Liverpool, as Antonio Conte said. Um, you know, he could be coming off the bench for 10, 20, 30 minutes. Um, any minutes, any game time for Dian Kulusevski would be absolutely fantastic. And I cannot wait to see him back. Shame about Lucas Mora, shame about um, Christian Romero as well. And of course, wishing uh, Hunmin Son and uh, Richarlison speedy recoveries. Um, let's hope that we see both of them back soon. Now, what an interesting statement from Antonio Conte. I don't know what the club will do in January. You would think by now, it is uh, the start of November, you would think that Antonio Conte would know full well what the club are going to do in the January transfer market. I don't like that comment, if I'm completely honest. Uh, he says uh, life will be always more difficult in England in the future as many clubs uh, will spend big money. It's better to be honest, to tell the truth to the fans always. I like that about Antonio Conte. He does always tell us exactly what's going on. Um, but I hope that Fabio Prasci, Daniel Levy, etc. have something up their sleeve for January because Antonio Conte is absolutely right. Uh, in the world we, we live in now and in this market and in uh, the Premier League, you've got to keep spending to keep up with the big boys. So if we want to keep up with the likes of Manchester City, uh, Liverpool, of course, Arsenal spend money, Chelsea spend money, uh, Manchester United, lots of clubs are spending money um, at the moment and they will do in January. Uh, we have to keep spending if we want to keep up with them and compete. And of course, most importantly, please Antonio Conte that he wants to stay at the club beyond the January transfer window because if we don't back him in, in, in the January transfer window, um, I think we are going to be in big, big problems because of course... He hasn't renewed his contract yet. I think that he's going to wait until after the January transfer window to see what happens. He may even wait uh, to see what happens in the summer. Um, but as I've said hundreds and thousands of times on this channel, back this manager, back this world-class manager, and he will bring success to the football club. I'm hoping and praying uh, that Tottenham don't get this wrong uh, for us because Conte is the man to drive us forward. Um, it's all about ambition. It's all about... Uh, club direction. He has directed us to Champions League football. He's taken us from Europa Conference League football to Champions League. He has done a remarkable job in his first year in charge. So let's see what he can do in the future. And as I say, if he is backed, he will bring success. Thanks for watching and thanks for listening. If you're watching on YouTube, please do hit that subscribe button, like and share. And if you're listening to this on an audio platform, please do hit that follow button and leave a review if you can. Enjoy your weekend and I'll see you on the next one. Until then, come on you Spurs.